This video is sponsored by Merch, the perfect way to show off that you like cool math. Normally, I'm the guy on YouTube who solves crazy looking integrals or cool differential equations and sometimes infinite series problems with the occasional physics video here and there as well. But limit problems can be fun too and today I have this really interesting one. It's the limit of cosine x to the 1 by x squared as x tends to 0. And the final result and the solution development are both incredibly satisfying. But how do we approach this problem? Well, let me translate this limit into another limit of something approaching infinity. So I can do that by letting x equal 1 by u. So this means I have the limit as u approaches infinity of cosine 1 by u to the u squared. Now, how exactly do I approach this new limit? Well, a nice approach would be to make use of the Taylor series expansion of the cosine function. So cosine x equals the sum over the non-negative integers k of negative 1 to the k divided by 2k factorial times x to the 2k. So that means that cosine 1 by u is the sum over k of negative 1 to the k divided by 2k factorial times u to the 2k. Okay, cool. Now let me just write out the first few terms. So for k equals 0, we have 1 divided by 2 times 0, and 0 factorial is 1, and u to the 0 is 1 as well. So the leading term here is 1, minus sign because negative 1 to the 1 is negative 1, and we have 1 by 2u squared plus all terms of the order 1 by u to the fourth power and higher. So that means for large values of the u variable, we have cosine 1 by u asymptotically equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 u squared. Now returning to my limit problem, this means I can write that my limit is equal to the limit as u tends to infinity of 1 minus 1 by 2 u squared all to the u squared. And now for one more transformation, I'm going to let u squared equal t, meaning that I now have the limit as t tends to infinity of 1 plus negative 1 half times 1 by t to the t. Now, why exactly did I write the limit in this strange form? Well, one is to remind you that it's a very nice time to like and subscribe. And another reason is we know from calculus that the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 plus a by x to the x equals e to the a. Okay, cool. So in this case, we have a being equal to negative 1 half. And all this means that the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine x to the 1 by x squared equals e to the negative 1 half, or 1 by root e, which is a pretty cool structure for the final result of this limit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Link in the description below for the merchandise. Thank you. See you next time.